Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Starry Starry Night by Peaky Perfume. So, only got a sample. It's like every single sample of PK Perfume. This fragrance I have a little something. I went on the website of PK Perfume and it says that it's a tribute to Vincent Van Gogh, to his vision and his art. Even has a little quote from Van Gogh. It says, I dream my painting and then I paint my dream. So we're gonna try this smell. So, first thing I'm picking up on paper, it's the note of cucumber. And it smells more like cucumber peel than, you know, the cucumber, you know, the white inside. And I don't know, somehow, that note remind me a little bit of the note of clover. I don't know if the note of clover was made out of clover or the cucumber is made out of cucumber, or they're both made out of the same thing and they just appear different in the fragrance because the notes are not necessarily the ingredients, they are what you can smell. But for me, they smell really similar. And this fragrance remind me a lot of Evan Fresh, still by PK Perfume. And before I keep going with the note breakdown, I need to tell you that for me, Starry Starry Night, it's more of a man's version of Evan Fresh, even though both are considered to be unisex, I would say that they're one is more masculine, sorry, sorry, night, and the other one is more feminine, Evan Fresh. And they are still having the same feel somehow. This one is more floral, the other one's more spicy, this one's more spicy. I say it's more spicy, but I know what I'm picking up it's orange blossom that's really present, mixed with the cucumber. But it's orange blossom, but it smells not quite floral. Or it feels more aromatic than floral. Pick up some lemon, but barely, just a little bit. And I pick up a little bit of cardamom. And on paper, that's pretty much it. On my skin, it's different. The orange blossom, it's really present. And the cucumber also is really present. But I'm getting more notes. I'm getting pine tree and cypress and lemon also. I'm not getting any cardamom. And as the fragrance move forward through time, it, you know, all those aromatic, woody, floral notes, they tone down a little bit and they let other notes to go through. And I pick up some sandalwood, pick up some cloves that is pretty present. It's less present than the cucumber and orange blossom that for me on my skin feels a lot like our clover, I should say. And there's the note of Chaya Loban that smells like incense. And why I'm saying that it's Chaya Loban, even though I never smell that note alone, is because another fragrance by PK Perfume has in the same, exact same incense smell. And it doesn't have frankincense or alibanum inside of it, doesn't have smoke notes, only have chai lubin. So this is how I know it's this and not frankincense or smoke that I'm getting. So the projection is not really good. It stays close to my skin, which the fragrance is a bit summery, you know, aromatic, a bit spicy aromatic, but still it stays in the summer note a little bit. So. It's not so bad that it doesn't project so much. In summer, it will project more and it will be nice nice for that. So it, it passed even though it's stay a skin scent in winter. Longevity is good. It lasted from seven to 12 hours on my skin. It, it lasted, I think it lasted exactly 12 hours in my skin or almost 12 hours. So the note right down is there's no top, heart, base note, just notes. So the notes are orange blossom, absolute, ylang ylang, cucumber, clove bud, absolute, mayor lemon, 
Petit Grain, Frankincense, Smoked Pinewood, Cypress Leaves and Absolute, Green Myrtle, Cardamom, Olibanum Wood, Misor and Australian Sandalwoods, Tree Moss, and Choyalobin. And where I would see this fragrance, its spiciness, its refinement, its aromaticness will make me say it, it's a bit of a business fragrance. It has a distinction. It doesn't have power, but you know, there's either powerful or classic, classy fragrance that makes the business fragrance style. So I would say it's more toward a gentleman, classy type of fragrance. Um, I'm not quite sure for the dating, seductive style of fragrance. I don't think it's so good in that area. In the summer winter spectrum, of course, it goes towards summer for both projection and smell. So it's going to be a great summer fragrance. It's going to be a bad winter fragrance. And as an everyday fragrance, it's really nice. It smells a long, the whole day. I think that it will be better in summer as an everyday fragrance than in winter. But still, it, the smell is nice. It's pleasing. It's aromatic. It's, it smells really natural. It doesn't smell like something cheap. So it's a nice fragrance. It will last the whole day. Pretty much what you want on an everyday fragrance. It doesn't have the feel of usual everyday fragrance, but it's a nice fragrance for you. Usually I try to be specific on who I would see with this fragrance, but for me it has a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a little bit of the Italian style of fragrance. I, I feel it's a little bit like those uh, Quoi di Parma fragrance on the natural side of it except that it lasts long. So who I would see is, I imagine like the Italian man, you know, with uh, the, the suit that is a bit flashy and colorful, um, you know, that's the image I'm having, like a classy man, not quite gentleman, but maybe businessman or someone that just have a good sense of fashion, Italian man. This is who I would see with this fragrance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you tried this fragrance before, write in the comment what you think about it. And if you have another, any other things you want to say about the brand PK Perfume, write in the comment. So thanks for watching and see you soon.